Hey everybody, this is Kaboom, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to build my favorite airplane. Um, I got a message today on YouTube from somebody, uh, Nathan, who that asked me if I would do a tutorial on this airplane, and I said yes, I'd love to. I have never done a tutorial on a plane because I just want to warn you before you get into this. Uh, build this in creative mode, learn to fly it, learn to build it, learn to play around, and then build in your survival world. Planes are a little on the unstable side. That is putting it nicely. So I just want to warn you up front. There are people out there, and I agree with them, who don't think that flying is the best way to get around because it's just unreliable. But I had enough resources and in this world if you look around you might be able to there's one right there i have like these little airplane thingies all over this world <laughs> from attempts to build i've spent close to i know at least two days working on an airplane video that i ended up scrapping two days worth of work because it just was so unstable and i just didn't feel like with a good conscience that i could put it out um, but finally I built this thing in my survival world and it's been running pretty good. I have had to fix it. I have, um, had to repair it at times, but it's, it's working well now. No guarantees, but if you want to build one, I would recommend this as a, uh, one that is good to build. You can use this railing. I like the way this railing looks, or you can use the fence, the plank railing. It doesn't matter you're basically just building a box to hold the things in um, I just like the way this looks I think it looks cooler but if you haven't unlocked that yet uh, feel free to use the other railing you're gonna build this up four high it's very important that you go uh, four high because it's what allows this thing to drop correctly you want to put this in here so that you have this overlap like that so it, this is going to drop into that position and now we can put our rockets here and now when we knock these out you want to just take your time because it, there's like this little thing where it takes a second but once you get it down you want to push it over so you're exposing this block i cannot tell you how many times i've accidentally hit this and it's a one shot um all of this is one shot you hit any of these accidentally with your pickaxe uh you're in you're in for a slight problem all right so that one is in place now and you do have to be careful about placing blocks if i was to put a block right here it would update this panel and this, this thing would attach to the floor um, or it would attach to this block that I'm putting down. And then that switch would uh, basically be connected to this whole plane. So if you run into a problem where your lever that should be only turning the plane is actually rockets to turn on, that shouldn't be turning on, uh, you've, you've, uh, you've connected You've connected your... Oh, shoot. I don't want that there. Chances are you've connected something to something that wasn't supposed to be. So I would definitely check that out. Then push that over. And gone. Okay, perfect. Make sure that's in the corner. Now we're going to go back to our fences. Grab one here. Okay, now. If you were to put this right next to here, it would latch on and uh, mess the whole build up. So, you want red. You want to go one, two, three. And then... Place it down. Over here, you want to do the same thing. 
Make sure you're on the edge block that you want. Okay, those are lined up. And basically that's just gonna help keep this from flying back and off your ship. Um, because that, that can't happen. And they should operate separately if you've got both those out operating separately and you are good to come back here. Okay, now back here, we're going to put a board that is flush with this, a board that is flush with here, and a board that is flush with here. This is gonna be your platform. Now we're gonna go into fences. We're gonna grab these again. And we wanna be sure that this fence is on the outer side like that. So you're going to have a big enough area for this thing to drop and you're not going to have to fight it and you're not going to have to get frustrated. <laughs> and yeah, if you've ever tried to drop one of these things in here and you get it, you know, it catches on one of these edges, it can be very frustrating. So I found if I just make that a little bit wider, it um, helps out a lot. Okay, so here you're going to want to put this on, bring it forward, latch it like that. Okay, it's fallen in between the things, perfect. Now I like to put this over because I may or may not have a balloon here in the middle. Um, so I don't like my lever to be blocked up by the balloon. So I'll put it over uh, to one side, uh, to the right or the left. I prefer the right side, um, doesn't matter. And then back here, you can put th uh, three rocket here um i you can do two or three if you're new at flying ships i would recommend two um, if you have experience you could do three um, the reason is is because if it gets going too fast uh you, you you might wreck in or crash into something and that is not that is not good okay so we moved it forward with the rockets and now we got to be really careful to make sure that we hit this one. Perfect. Now it's down. Now you've done the hard part. This is it. That's the hard part. That's the, it's pretty simple. Now you're going to add balloons and some rockets on the bottom side. So let's go ahead and put the rockets down here. I, this is what I personally like. Um, all this is, you know, you, you can add a couple more if you want to go up faster and stuff like that. But this is what I personally like. You see this line right here off that back? I follow that all the way up and I put my rocket there. And now you're going to want to take your time when you do this. Because if you get one of these rockets off a little bit one way or another, you're going to notice your platform going up in the air um, at an angle. And the closer you can get this thing to being exactly right all the way around, it's going to make flying it a thousand times easier. Personally, from my experience, that's what I have found. So now we're going to look for where the two come together, which is going to be right here. Perfect. And then we're going to bring this exactly over here so that it's lined up perfectly with the other one. That's great. These are all looking great. And then we're going to come back here. And we're going to add two rockets there. Awesome. You're going to want to lar add a large wheel uh, right here in the center. And you want to want to be sure it's as low as it can be on the thing. This is going to help when it lands. It's gonna um, help it. It's not gonna be perfect, but it's gonna help. And then we're gonna come right over here and then we're gonna put another tire right in the middle, right where that rocket is, perfect. And then we're gonna come over here. Perfect. Perfect. And you know, you might be saying, 
why is he making sure it's perfect? I'm telling you, if it's off just a little bit, uh, it will really make the whole plane just fly really weird. So this taking your time and doing this might seem like overkill, but it is really at the end of the day it is super helpful. Okay, now we are done with that. So now we, we're going to put a lever right wherever you prefer. You can put it back here or you can put it up there. I kind of like to put these together uh, so I can kind of see as I'm flying and I can uh, hit the switches as I need. And this one, you just hit it and it pushes forward. And the pressure from those rockets pushes it up. As long as you don't do anything crazy or wreck it or... Uh, things don't get broken off. Everything should stay uh, where it's at. I'm working on... I'm actually working on a model here of ma about maybe upgrading this with... So everything should stay where it's supposed to be as long as you don't do any crazy maneuvers. Uh, and, I, and it's been known to happen. So just watch that. Be super careful as you're flying. All right, now we're gonna add the balloons. Now, people, some people love the big balloons. Um, if I don't, because if you put a big balloon here and you're running around and you're trying to look at stuff for some reason, your eyes will get pulled to this big balloon and it makes it really difficult to see where you're going and i've noticed with the smaller balloons that the the tracking doesn't do that so i like the smaller balloons uh, we're going to put seven balloons up front here uh, i like to start off with those two there and then we're going to come we're gonna, Gonna just put these about. You can use you can use those little textures. You see the little lines on there. You can use those for uh, references if you want. So you can like see where that is, and then you can come over here, and you can mimic it. Uh, those little dashes, so that it's uh, as close as possible. And then we got that little line there. So I'm gonna put this balloon. Oh well, that's fine. Uh, and we're just going to put this one right there on the same side. Perfect. Those are our front balloons. Then we're going to need a balloon here. And a balloon here. And a balloon here. And we need one right here in the middle. Okay. So there there perfect one there one there one there one there one there and then four up one, two, three, and four up. Perfect. And then we want one that is close, as close as you can get to the center there. If you put this one on the left side, you want, like if this one is over on the to the right, then this one needs to go up to the opposite because you can't get dead center with the balloon. So if this one's on this side, then this one should be over on that side, which it's not. Let's fix that. There we go. Perfect. Now that's there and that's there. That's that's exactly what we want. Okay. And then right here, you want to try to get the balloon about as centered as you can right there. Perfect. So we got two balloons there. And if you don't like that balloon there, you can put it there. Just put the same one there. Um, that's fine too. But this is how many balloons you want to have. Let's count them real quick. Okay, so we have 24 balloons total, but here's the thing. Um, sometimes 
this thing will fly off into the air and sometimes it will go down and we do not know because there is some mechanic with the balloons that is just not fully understood as far as the weight and stuff um so i get different results so i want to show you guys this real quick if you're in a survival world i would highly recommend doing this because one of two things is going to happen either this thing is going to go down to the ground or it's going to fly off and to prevent you from half having to figure out how to go up to the top of the world um, this is a very easy way to make sure that you don't have to do that So we now have everything protected because you never know this thing we don't, we're not sure what it could go down it could go up let's find out and it came down and I got out all right that's good that's fine all right so now we can knock these out and if you do find that this feels like it's falling too hard because that will break your plane um you can add a couple more balloons this is uh, every world is different and even when you log in to your own world uh, sometimes this thing is going to be in the sky and something it sometimes it's going to be on the ground so i just want to warn you with that because yeah it, it just can always be uh, a little wonky so if we wanted to uh, we could add one here and we can add a balloon here okay now we are up off the ground a little bit perfect that's what I like let's say you don't like you know maybe you want to put those two balloons on and pop this one down you can do that you can adjust this uh, plane however high or however little you want I did want to show you guys a little trick that I learned about getting up to your plane but let me go ahead and fly this but let's test it out real quick we're gonna raise it up and then we're gonna turn it off and then it's okay see how it's coming down okay that's that's a pretty good rate that's not too bad nice and easy yeah that was perfect that was a good good perfect rate so now the thing about this plane that makes it really really good i think is that you have a left and a right but you also have an up and a forward and a lot of planes that are built they don't have four separate controls they have only the two separate controls uh, they have a left and a right and then the up and the the down are together the reason why that's an issue is if you're just flying and you have to come into a spot while you're moving forward it makes it a lot harder to land it okay let me show you see this if if the back and the bottoms were together we would have to land over in this field we would have to land it coming into it if that makes any sense at all like like an airplane when an airplane lands and takes off versus a helicopter a helicopter can just land on a platform where an airplane is much is a lot harder to land overall so this operates more on that principle of the helicopter and so you can try to find areas and let's say oh wait a minute you know you're not sure if this is where you want to land well you can just go straight up and re evaluate where you're about to land and you can make adjustments as needed there we go a little more okay and we're just wanting to make sure that we're not landing on anything and we can go forward a little bit and this really gives you the ability to park this thing on a dime which is one of the things i love about it and it's one of the reasons why uh, this ship it's one of the reasons why this ship lasts longer than a lot of the ships out there is because you can do this you can land it like a helicopter 
and not land it like a plane. This is the other thing that I don't think a lot of people show you about planes. Do you see how it's in the air and it's not coming down? Okay, so you're gonna wanna have a grappler on you, which if you're at the stage where you can build, you have the resources to build a plane, uh, you should have the resources for a grappler. It's really gonna help you. The other option on this is if you want to add more weight to this, like a chest or something, that will also make it go down. The only problem with that is if it goes down, like, so here it's not going down at all. But if you add the chest, let's say we add a chest here. And add a chest here. And let's pop this balloon. Okay, so now we've got it to land. But do you hear, do you see all that? I did, I feel like it's just, it's really rough on the plane overall. So I would actually prefer myself if I'm in my survival world personally. I actually prefer it to be off the ground a little bit. It just seems like it's less, it just feels like it's less hard on the plane overall. Even though you will get some of those noises when you're flying, this just seems a lot better on, on the overall health of the plane. Um, if you find yourself having any issues with this, doing like things disappearing, uh, rockets disappearing, leverage disappearing, stuff like that. The best thing to do is to land this, uh, exit out of your game, and then exit back into the game. It kind of like resets the whole ship, and it, it's really, it's really helpful. So guys, this is Kaboom. If you enjoyed this video, if you guys could please hit the like bu button and subscribe, it would help out a lot. I'm trying my hardest to get to a thousand subs right now. And this video, man, I'll tell you what, it took, it's probably, it was probably three days worth of work getting this thing going, figuring all this stuff out. So I hope this is helpful to you guys. I really do. And I hope you guys have good luck with it. And as always, by God's grace, have a great day and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.